I was playing lacrosse and then one of my friends hit me with a heavy lacrosse ball. And so we decided to get her in to see their doctor. All the chest pain she was having had nothing to do with her being hit with that lacrosse ball. We realized that there was something seriously wrong with her heart. This was the first time I had really ever heard about cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy is a chronic and sometimes progressive disease where the heart muscle cells become either stiff or dilated or restrictive and they don't squeeze well. When the heart doesn't squeeze, the rest of the body does not get enough food and oxygen. We didn't want her to panic. Um, we just told her she wouldn't be playing lacrosse anymore and we just needed for her to slow down until we found out more. It's really important to understand the type of cardiomyopathy that your child might have. The outcomes and the treatments are very different. Understanding what the underlying cause is can help us understand what we need to do about it. The whole goal of the genetic testing for the cardiomyopathy is to give you and your medical team the very best possibility of knowing how to treat your child. It's a way of reading out the letters, the A's, T's, G's, and C's in the genes that are responsible for how the heart functions to see whether whether or not they're normal, or whether there's a genetic difference that can explain the cardiomyopathy. Within a week of her diagnosis, we had her back at the hospital doing a blood test that went out to look for many different genetic markers. We know that in some children, especially those diagnosed in the first couple of years of life, their cardiomyopathy could be associated with other things that could be wrong with your body. And it's critical to make sure that the siblings and the parents are screened for cardiomyopathy. Genetic testing in those cases can actually help us know which patients may potentially be affected over their lifetime and which patients do not have the disease. I've lived with cardiomyopathy my whole life because my mother had it. It was such a part of my life growing up. It was just part of who we were. If they have a family history of cardiomyopathy in general, but particularly hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, uh, they're often sent for screening because it's known to be hereditary disease. It was something we told them right off the bat we wanted to have. Before I even went into labor, they knew I wanted to have genetic testing done. If a familial gene has been identified, uh, we can be certain whether they have it or not. I knew it would be easier to put my children on a particular path when they were little than having them genetically tested when they're 15 and doing baseball or football, and they have to give all that up. We want people to be getting themselves evaluated so that they can have the opportunity of as early diagnosis as possible. That will help you with the prognosis and the quality of life for your child. If they carry the gene, they should know that they're at 50% risk of transmitting it to their children. We found out that I carry the gene, so then we tested Gianna's sister, Sophia, and she also came back positive. The genetic counselor specifically helps with issues such as family planning. How does your gene and your family affect future pregnancies? They help put it in perspective for your children who may have the gene but don't have cardiomyopathy. A genetic counselor typically provides education and emotional support for patients and families that have inherited heart conditions and relay information to patients in a way that they can understand. The genetic testing consists of a blood test. It's usually a single tube of blood that takes less than a teaspoon of DNA. We tested Gianna's sister Sophia by the same method that my husband and I were tested by the swab. Her results came back in three or four weeks. When the test result finally comes back, it comes back usually in one of three flavors. One is that the laboratory may have found a definitive cause for the cardiomyopathy in a child. The second possibility is the result can come back that the laboratory, in fact, did not find a genetic cause for the cardiomyopathy. The third possibility is the one that's oftentimes most confusing for families, and that's a result that's called a variant of uncertain significance. That is that the laboratory found a genetic change that may be something they've never seen before, or one that they've seen so infrequently that they can't be 100% sure it's actually the cause of the underlying cardiomyopathy. If we find that there is a genetic cause for the cardiomyopathy, and we find specifically what the genetic change is, then we now have an extremely sensitive, specific, straightforward way of testing other members of the family 
to see whether or not they have an increased risk of cardiomyopathy. If they don't carry the gene, then they should know that they don't have to worry about it and that it's not a risk for them to transmit it to their children. Having that genetic information helped us have something concrete to go with and it wasn't such a mystery. If you find out you're genetically positive, now you have concrete or alternately, that weight's lifted. We're working very, very hard to make sure every single child has access to this important test. We never saw a bill, it went through insurance, so it was very, very simple. The addition of genetic testing is not gonna change the status of your insurance. If somebody's insurance doesn't cover genetic testing, most laboratories offer a reduced price for patients who need to pay out of pocket for their testing, as well as offering payment plans so that they don't have to pay the entire amount. Many people do benefit from interacting and networking with other people who are in a similar situation. So for these individuals, connecting them with support groups or other organizations that provide information, outreach, education. Groups like Children's Cardiomyopathy Foundation really help families connect with other families to realize that they're not alone. The mission of the foundation is to accelerate the search for causes and cures for pediatric cardiomyopathy and also to provide support services for families. We hope that this video will encourage families to start a conversation with their child's cardiologist and their geneticist. The vast majority of people with cardiomyopathy live a long and healthy life. If you're aware of it, you can help reduce any risks. You can get management for the symptoms. We were able to determine what we wanted to do and the direction we could keep going with our kids. The more information that we received and the more educated we became, the more comfortable we felt.